Hi folks, Don Sangster for Bass Pro One Source. I'm joined today by James McGregor, one of the award-winning taxidermists here at Advanced Taxidermy and Wildlife Design in Caledon, Ontario. Hi James. Hey, Don, nice to see you again. I see you. Now James, I've written blogs before on ways to ensure that you wind up with a great looking taxidermy mount. But can you offer me some tips on how to make sure that the trophies on my wall keep looking great for years to come? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it really boils down to common sense. Now that's a, a large word, but um, simply enough, you don't want to be touching the mount. You know, the mount is a visual thing. Um, the least you have to touch it or do anything to it, the better it's going to look. But again, no house is dust proof. There's always going to be dust and other factors. Um, and a couple simple steps, maybe once a year if need be, can actually just lengthen the life of the mount for you and your wall. Sure. Well, you know, first and foremost is where you put it. You know, you don't want it in direct sunlight. You don't want it above a working fireplace. You don't want to have it outdoors. You know, this is a three-dimensional piece of wildlife art that has a joyous part of your life that you want to commemorate for the rest of your life for sure. Now with dust, you know, simply enough a soft bristle paintbrush, you know, with the grain can actually remove a lot of the dust off the animal. And of course now with the computers, these cans of air are even, be are even better for actually cleaning dust off. Certain areas you can really pay attention to, eyes, since the eyes are made from glass, if need be, you can clean the glass eye with some Windex on, on a Q-tip. But you don't want to get too much fluids on there. You don't want too much Windex actually on there because you can hydrate a skin, which is a possibility. But one of the things too, uh, you can even use a soft uh, comb such as a dog brush to groom it, but that's only if it's a necessity that someone's touched it and manipulated the hair. If there is things that really do need attention, if you see some cracking in the mouth or nose or in the eyes, or maybe an ear um, popped, definitely take two professional attachments to attend to them properly. Great tips, James. Thanks. Folks, the guys here at Advanced Taxidermy are the best. So if you're looking for some great taxidermy work, check them out at www.advancedtaxidermy.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out all the other great tips at Bass Pro One Source. Good hunting.